After 21 years on breakfast television, David Kochiko said goodbye to Seven Sunrise on Friday, and none other than Anthony Albanese came into the studio to wish him well. Congratulations on your retirement Kochi Online. After 21 years at Sun Rision 7 you definitely deserve a yacht. KYKL Shadow W3VY, Anthony Albanese June 8, 2023 in a farewell fantasy that sees the show go well over time. Tribute is paid to the self-confessed daggy dad obscure financial journalist who becomes an unlikely TV star and surpasses co-hosts Melissa Doyle Samantha Armitage in a competitive game. Im ashamed Kochi makes fun of her first morning hosting Sunrise. Watch Kochi's latest show now on Channel 7 and 7 Plus. 661 RQQPKAF. Sunrise June 8, 2023 Everyone from the Beaconsfield mining disaster survivors to former Prime Minister Kevin Rudd and former Liberal Minister Joe Hockey came to say goodbye. It was notorious for Kocha to be called into the ambulance after Brant Webb and Todd Russell were rescued. Rudd and Hockey, who played key roles on Sunrise in the early days, came from Washington, where they were both located. We had some candid moments, Hockey said. We looked at each other in the most sincere way. Hockey was talking about when the three men were walking down Kokoda Alley together. Natalie Barr openly cried during her farewell fantasy Scott Ella 7 Network call was unpolished and stale, but audiences reacted to Kochi and Mel Stark style, making Sunrise one of commercial television's most successful disruptors. You showed us that looks aren't everything, said co-host Natalie Barr openly crying after comedian Han's performance on the final show. The relationship between Age and one of its columnists, Julie Sego, exploded over an independent article commissioned more than a year ago by former Age editor Gay Alcorn. Sego, who also writes a regular column for the Melbourne newspaper, publicly expressed his disappointment when his article was not published while Alcorn was still in power. The longer piece is about youth gender transition, a topic that Sego has been interested in for some time. If you want to know why this article was rejected, you should ask the editor. TTRC 8 PDJD 2 said I envisioned the piece as the first of a series. I will distribute more. Julie Sego, June 6, 2023, we followed Sego's suggestion and asked editor Patrick Elijet why his feature was rejected. I explained in detail to Julie why I believe the article commissioned by the former editor more than a year ago is not suitable for publication in the age, Elijet told Weekly Beast. We continue to address the issue of gender policy with balance, nuance and accuracy. Last week we published a few stories on the subject. That's something that most of our competitors won't touch on. The Weekly Beast understands that age was unimpressed Sego when he wrote that Sego was made illegible by a committee of vigilant journalists rearranging words they found provocative, such.